2007, and when I became a choosing, God healed me. Clap on to God. I don't know whether you heard her, the ailment, the sickness. Say it again. What God healed you of? Hole in the heart. Hole in the heart. Yes. Terrible sickness. I have the evidence of history still there, but I did not bring it. I'll bring it later. I also want to thank God who restored me a new liver, a new kidney, a new system in my body. I just want to say, choosing praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. My second testimony, which um, last year, or that is last two years in Budi, we came and our daddy made us to pledge. I couldn't make it to last year, that is this year in Budi, but I came this program and then I redeemed my pledge. And when I redeemed my pledge, I received a favor of 310,000 around. Thank you, Father. You said you made the pledge of our 100,000. And you received a favor of? 310. Clap on to God on the Tuesday. God multiplies anything beyond the imagination. My third testimony. My third testimony happened 2000, and that was last year, August 16th, precisely. So the afflictions, the persecutions, it was too much. It was just beyond me. I just told God, I want to hear, I want to see the end of your tunnel. I know. I know the things he has told me, but because of the afflictions was too much, the persecutions was too much. I say, God, I want to know the end of the tunnel. I want to even know the end of my tunnel. And then I slept. When I slept, God gave me a revelation, and which in the revelation, not knowing in the ministry, they always use um, two people for a sacrifice. Like every year, they use people for sacrifice. And this is how God used me for for two military one in the navy one in the police in the morning god confirmed it when i saw the navy sister and um, her sister was miserable walking she was crying i called her asked her what is the problem she said my sister went for a checkup and when she came back she has been admitted to the hospital bag i started smiling i said don't worry god has taken over my god has intervened and nothing will happen to your sister she was not crying i said don't cry and so lo and behold i told her about what god revealed to me she went to tell the sister and when the sister came i told the sister the sister was so amazed and my surprise to me in my branch tell new town anyone who knows ghana that place they don't love god everything is diabolic if you are bold enough to go out there to preach the way they will torment you the way they will even crucify you you will not go again i will go whatever they do to me i don't care but not to mind that this sister has been secretly listening to our jew and i want to say to the whole world that people are really listening to our message of our jew they are not coming out as to the portraying and sitting here, but a lot of Navy officers, police, military, a lot of them in Ghana are choosing. And this is how God and this is how God made the sister to thank me. And then from there she became a very close person. And also to the policeman, that is how also God is about God using to protect me and through that God also made me to also intervene for him that is how God of choosing delivered these two but I told them those people that made this sacrifice would rather be the one in place and to that maybe sister shocking surprise a brother who used to drive her to the house not knowing it was him and that brother we never saw him again up to date I wake up as I wake up and I intervene for them I slept again now this is to the testimony of the end of the tunnel so when I said God I want to know the end of the tunnel God gave me a revelation I don't want to go deep in the revelation but I want to say that in the whole wide world I was told that the God of Abraham the God of Isaac the God of Jacob is the reigning God as the God of choosing. He is the same Jesus Christ. Anyone who doesn't come under this umbrella will never make it to his abode. So I'm here to tell the whole world because he told me 
to give this message to the whole world initially when he gave me this message i gave it out to the man of god i know i gave it out to the media when you go to ghana in fact even to the internet my name is everywhere i am really preaching i am really praying for my daddy i am really portraying as what god what all choosing to be he told me that chosen people god is looking at you all don't stay in your room don't stay in your coven go out there go to the churches preach this undiluted message because our daddy is the only one standing in the whole wild world thank you i pray for my daddy that the way god has made him spiritually physically he is with his whole entire family in jesus mighty name I pray for all the chosen worldwide. I cover my testimony with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Choose it, praise the Lord. Hallelujah.